Okay, so if you have a water system like this, um, based off of a well, like this one, uh, that basically this system cleans your water using chlorine and salt, a couple of tanks, a charcoal tank and another tank, um, and then the water gets stored in here after it's been cleaned, uh, but then comes back through here before it hits the house. That's for air pressure. Uh, to give you your water pressure um, you have to maintain this every month so every month you got to come out here and basically flush the system now it does its own with the tanks the tanks go through a cycle and based on what times you say uh, it'll flush the water through the tanks and out and it goes through this uh, hose uh, that, that knocks back out but uh, realistically, you still have to flush the tank, this thing, uh, once a month. So the way you do that, uh, step one is to stop the water from coming from the well into the tank. So I'll turn this guy off here. <clears throat> like that. Then I will come over here and open this valve. Now, when I do that, it's gonna get very noisy because water's gonna start gushing out here. Okay, you want it to go faster. It has one of these air release valves. Not all of them will. If they don't, then whoever installed yours didn't do a good job. But uh, if you don't, as long as you have a, 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 a faucet after the tank, this can serve the same purpose. And it's not a terrible idea to open that as well because that'll allow air through here when the tank starts to drain so there's not a vacuum but that that valve will do the same thing so let that sit for about 10 15 minutes until the water stops flowing you can see this one's going to stop because it's, the water's low enough now that the tank's just draining at this point so i'm going to let it drain completely flushing it out 100 percent of the tank and then once the water completely stops, I'll close that valve. Um, actually, what I usually do, just in case there's sediment built up in the bottom of the tank, I will, once it stops completely, I will open up the well water and let it kind of just squirt through uh, into the tank and right out the other side, just for 30, 60 seconds or so. Then I'll close this valve here and I will leave this one open. And that's important. You want to leave that open while it's filling up the tank because you want it to get the air out of the tank uh, as it fills up the tank. So we're going to let it fill up the tank. And then um, once this starts getting water out of it, I close this. But I'm going to let, um, after this finishes draining, I will let it, the tank fill up most of the way. So I'm going to stop for a minute and, um, and start that or let it finish draining and then I'll come back on. Okay, so it finished. And uh, then I went ahead and turned on the water here for just a minute, let it just kind of flush through. It's already done that. So now I've reclosed the valve. I'm gonna open this back up. You notice it's just letting air out here. Again, that top valve will do the same thing, but not as efficiently. So I'm just going to let it fill up the entire tank until water starts hitting this. And once water starts hitting that faucet, I'll close the faucet, let it finish filling the tank, and then the flush for the week is done, or for the month is done at that point. That's really all there is to it. Once a month you need to do that. So until the water starts gushing out here, I'm letting that tank fill up. Because it's empty from me letting it drain out, doing it flush. So there it goes. So I just close that. You can hear the chlorinator still pumping, and that tells me the well's still running and still filling up the tank here. But that's pretty much all there is to the monthly maintenance. Uh, obviously, you need to make sure that you're checking your salt, adding salt as necessary, also checking your chlorine. Make sure you have chlorine and water mixture in there. I buy the ga gallons of, or the, it's like two and a half gallon tanks from the local pool supply. Um, and usually what I'll do is I'll dump one full tank into here. 
and then fill the rest up with water. That gives it a good mix. I usually set this at about uh, uh, three or four, whatever that number is there, the fourth spot. And uh, I'll let that run. Um, if you don't see this moving, see how it's popping like that every time it fills? A couple things to check out. Uh, is you have this valve on the back here. If you open that, you should see the leach water spitting out. Now, mine of course stopped where I'm showing you. Um, if you don't see the bleach coming out, um, it, it means a couple of things. Um, either you don't have any chlorine in there, um, and that's not priming it, is the other thing, uh, or you have a clog in this. So usually the clog's not gonna be up here. Usually what happens is this builds up inside of this. There's like a long thin tube and inside of there, calcium and garbage um, build up until there's a plug. And what, hap what you have to do if that happens is take the power off of the well, and I'll do a video on it at some point. But basically you take the power off of the well with the breaker, so I would turn it off. Um, I would close the valve over there for the water. And then I would take some channel locks and hold that, and then another set of channel locks and hold that, unscrew it, and I'd look to see, to see that there's a hole on the other side. If it's plugged, you basically gotta soak this gray piece in some uh, acid or vinegar. Um, vinegar will take a few hours to, to break up the calcium. Uh, if you get some pa acid from your pool supply store, mix that with a little bit of water, it'll be done in just a few minutes. Um, so um, I've already done that recently. So if I opened it up right now, it would look clean. But if you're ever having a problem where it's not moving that hose when it's pumping the chlorine, uh, there's a plug and that'll prevent the chlorine from chlorinating your water, which will end up giving you um, not such clean water. And if you have high iron, you'll definitely see the iron in your water more. You'll taste it uh, and, and the taste of the water, etc. cetera. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, again, when I clean that thing out the next time, I'll do another video to kind of show you guys how I do it, but it's pretty basic. Um, uh, but do that at least once a month, uh, depending on how bad your well water is. Anytime you have a major rain, you'll start getting more iron in your water if you have a lot of iron in your well water. Uh, so you'll want to do it then as well after a major rainstorm. Um, but uh, that's pretty much all. About once a month I do it, a little more often when it's rainy season. That's it. Leave comments if uh, you have any questions. I'll try to answer them for you. Um, and uh, like the video if you can. Check out my other videos. Like them as well. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you like anything you saw here. If you got anything out of it. Uh, you can help me out by just subscribing, liking, commenting. That's all I ask. I don't need any money sent to me or anything like that. Uh, just uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Alright, thank you much. Until next video.